What is going on YouTube? It's Brendan from Market Makers, your home for Wyckoff, Advanced Fibonacci, TA, and GAN concepts. Guys at Market Makers, we utilize the best practices and trading methods from the market masters of old. We incorporate this into our own trading method, which has brought me a lot of success, our room a lot of success, and we want to share this with you. If you want to come join our room, check out what professional traders do. You can come and click the join button right underneath this video for education, live streams, and most importantly, a fantastic community of 6,000 like-minded individuals all pursuing financial freedom. And of course, guys, trade signals. Of course, there's trade signals. So come check out the room, full integration into YouTube. Love to see you there. You'll see why we have exploded. This is our one-year anniversary. I'm going to make this video here on the GAN fan. I'll show you the proper way to square your chart, and I'll show you my shortcut method that will save you a lot of time. And you might be wondering, why do I even care about GAN fans? If you guys watch this channel, you know I'm a natural law trader. GAN believed in the law of three. He believed in natural law concepts, not unlike Fibonacci. So Fibonacci are numbers that are represented all throughout the universe in the human body, in nature. The GAN's concepts are very similar. He utilized angles. He, he utilized mathematics that are found throughout nature. He utilized planetary alignments. He took everything, natural law, and he believed that did apply in the marketplace as well. He's the godfather of geometric trading. And the GAN fans are representations of angles. So I'm going to show you how this is used and how you should properly put this on your chart. Let's go ahead and jump into this. So the proper method for laying out your GAN fan, first of all, you need a clean canvas, okay, a clean slate. Use Bitcoin, use it on the weekly, and don't have a scale locked. I'll show you the way you square your chart to account for price, time, and scaling distortions here in TradingView, okay? So don't have your scale locked. Go ahead and take a trend line. And we're going to use significant points. We're going to use a weekly. We're going to use the all-time high down to the current market low. Okay, I would say that's a very significant point. Now, what you want to do here, the proper way, is you want to box this in. Go to get your horizontal line. Go to the all-time high, horizontal line for your base, and now we need vertical lines for the sides. Okay, so vertical line. We're going to go to the all-time high. Vertical line, we are going to capture the base here. Now we have our box. You see this? Now I want you to go to this tool over here, go to the date and price range. Click the all time high, the top of the wick, click the bottom of the wick here in your box, and now you have captured this price time in this box. We need four of these boxes. I'll explain this as we go. So go ahead and control C to copy this if you're using Windows, control V to paste it and you wanna line these up totally fluidly. You see this, your heart line has to be exact with the other box. We need four total, so here's our third one. And let's go ahead and line this up. We need a fourth one. Move this over and line this up. As you can see, this can be time consuming. I'm gonna show you my so shortcut method that saves a lot of time when you're doing this. There you go. So you can zoom in, make sure this looks good. It does look good. It looks very fluid. Now what we're going to do, guys, to lay out this fan, select your GAN fan, utilizing your trend line here, okay? So click the top of your all-time high, and you want the 1-4 angle to be along that trend line, okay? The 1-4 angle. So go ahead and match that up. And of course, you can change. You can go to settings, change the thickness of these lines, change them to dots, change them however you want, okay? So here's my 1-4. You see that? Right along this uh, the trend line. So why is it the 1-4? Because we drew four boxes of identical size. The 1-1, one, one, which is representative of the 45 angle, is cutting right through the bottom of the last box. Do you see that? So that's a perfectly drawn GAN fan. And of course, you can squish this. You can expand it. Do whatever you want. It's locked, okay? Now let's go ahead and get rid of this and I'll show you the shortcut to do this as well. Get rid of all these boxes, get rid of these lines because this is a lot faster. I haven't seen anybody else show this method before so I'm going to share this with you guys. All right, Let's see if I can get rid of that trend line. There we go. So what I can do here, I'm going to show you this. What we can do is we can take this date price box, okay, go to the same all-time high at the top, Drag it down. Now we know that we were going to this swing low here, right? The current market low. But what you want to do differently, pull the box, the median vertical line. You see that? Pull this median vertical line so that it's on 
the place that you want it, the trend line was at. Okay, so the bottom here at the swing low. So this is where we're going to do with our box. We're expanding the box further. We're drawing this median line out to your swing low in this case. Okay, and you can go into settings and make sure this is exact. It should be 25, 338. You want this to be exact as possible if you want accuracy with your GAN fan. 25, 338. Click OK. So we have a perfectly drawn box. Now we only need one more of these. Okay, Control C, Control V, pull this over, match up your heart line. This can be fun sometimes, it doesn't want to go exactly. There we go. Heart line is matched. Let me zoom in, take a look. Is it pretty close? Got to get it exact. There we go, perfect. Now look at your one one. The one one going right through the bottom of the box and you did this with two boxes versus four boxes, okay? The difference being you have to pull over that vertical median line to tap in this case your swing low. So this is a perfectly laid out GAN fan and it's much faster than sitting there squaring your chart and drawing four boxes. This is my method. Let's go ahead and do this for support as well. Now for support, let's do something bigger scale. Let's go back to the beginning of the bull run, okay? And then we'll talk about the accuracy of the fans. Let's go ahead and do this. And we're, you guys know if you watch this channel, I like to use this pandemic low, right? The March 9th weekly candle. So let's go ahead and use my same method. And we're gonna go to the first all time high. Utilizing the same method, click our price time box, put that median line at that all time high. And again, you wanna be precise, okay? So the median line needs to be on that all time high. And then let's see what that all time high is here on this chart, 64,899. So let's click our box. Let's go to the gear, 64,899. As you can see, it was not precise when I laid it out. 64,899, there you go. And remember, we need to copy this box. You need two of them and line these up perfectly and get them precise. There we go. Now let's zoom in, make sure this is flush and it is, so this is perfect, okay? Now we're gonna use the exact same method, okay? Now we need to do our GAN fan to show the support. So let's go ahead and grab the GAN fan and then let's grab that candle base. Remember the one quarter, the one four line needs to be up at the all time high now because that's where you would have drawn your trend line, right? The one four line right here needs to hit your all time high radiating from the bottom of the base here because it's the same exact method. And if you did this correctly, look at your one one, your one one coming out of the top of the corner of the box here, okay? So that this is perfectly drawn for support and resistance. Let's go ahead and remove this remove this. And again, if you change the thickness of your lines, you can make this easier. If you find it easier to keep the trend line there as a guide, you can also keep the trend line there as a guide. Now let's look at the accuracy of this. Now I want, I, I formulate my fans a little bit differently. I like to use dots. You can't really see it that well here uh, as I'm recording this video. So I went ahead and use lines, but you can change the colors, whatever you'd like to do. Now, just looking at this, you can see some things here, right? Your one four angle, that's your all time high. You can see that price struggled along some of these angles. And of course your one one is the 45. Simple concept in GAN trading and, and uh, angle trading and geometric trading, the 45 being above it is bullish, being below it is bearish, okay? So this is why it's important to change the aesthetic nature of your 45. Make the line darker, change the color. It needs to be visually recognizable to you quickly, okay? Now looking at this, let's just go for the current price action here. You can see this beautiful channel price was bouncing around in. You can see the acceleration through the fan, falling back down through it. And of course, in current price action, look at this. Look at the accuracy of the fan. Is it always 100% accurate? No. Would I trade only with GAN fans? Of course not. This is just part of the weaponry in your toolbox, okay, for, the, for trading. Look at where you hit. You hit perfectly on this candle at the high, hit the fan. This candle struck perfectly for support. GAN fans can be very accurate. I utilize them with Fibonacci, with my Wyckoff market structures, and I find them to be fantastic, okay? Looking at this one, two angle here in the previous accumulation and you can just sort through this you can do this on any time frame okay you can see this was held as 
excellent resistance. And by the way, if you would have got into this, this is that trade we took in our room back last June. This was a, almost a 13,000 point decline in the marketplace. And again, you're looking for these resistance lines. You're looking for these support lines just like this. You can see how accurately it is tracking. These are GAN fan guys. I hope you enjoy this video. Definitely come check out our room to learn more advanced trading concepts. And I'll answer your questions and comments here in YouTube. All right, guys, have a fantastic day.